one brings Janora back in. CBI is stronger together. The king is dead. This territory, let's make it odd. We coming for the north side. You're a pirate. You don't understand boundaries. Let me help you. I'll hand CBI the keys. Every time I try working with a Flynn, I end up dodging bullets. You're gonna kill my sister. I'm gonna make her suffer. What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai J and we are locked in. This is what's next for episode six of Power Book 4 Force in May. Let me tell you, they are headed in the right direction with this season. I like what we're doing, how they changed up from season one. Now they give us a hint of season one, but it's like we have a whole new storyline and it's very, very believable. We seen that Jannard, he's trying to get himself back together. We know that the Flynn's they are crumbling. They are falling apart. So going into episode six, it looks like we're going to have more action and the Serbs are getting in on it. Now, before we jump into this and we break down this trailer, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories and predictions like this, then hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So each and every one of you, I appreciate you. And if you don't see this at 100 likes, hit that like button. But let's go ahead and jump into it. This is what's next for episode six of Power Book 4 Force season two right off the bat we know that tommy and everyone else in the city of chicago has heard that walter flynn is down he's down for the count that means the siblings are in charge aka Vic. but this also means whenever you get rid of the head of some kind of organization it's kind of in shambles it's like a chicken with his head cut off so tommy wants to seize the day and he's telling diamond let's go ahead and start to expand into where the flynn's were at this is going to work out and we know that Vic is supposedly supposed to join CBI. So maybe he just gives that territory to Tommy and this is how he gets their trust to let him into CBI and they can start working forward from there. I think I know why Diamond is always so hesitant. Of course, we know he's not trying to go back to jail, but they just did the deal with King Kilo in the prison. So now they have another opportunity to make money. And once Tommy starts doing what Tommy does, we seen in episode five, Diamond told him, hey, chill, Tommy. You need to think about some stuff. Tommy said, let me go drop these bricks off. Tommy comes back with a map. We got some killings going on. Tommy's mind is everywhere. Diamond is hesitant. He has a PO officer. He just got rid of the damn body of Finnegan. He also knows, hey, we really don't know what happened to D-Mac because Tommy isn't revealing everything. So Diamond is always going to be kind of hesitant because he's actually trying to put together a play that's going to work instead of just reacting. We mentioned the expansion. Well, everyone's going to be in on this. You also remember that Jannard still owes Mirkovich and everything that Claudia told Mirkovich about CBI and treason working together is definitely going to look like that. So with the expansion of trying to take over the Flynn family's territory, the Serbs are going to want in on that and we're going to a full out war. At this point, this is Tommy letting everyone know his moves, but of course, he doesn't care. Now, Mirkovic, it looks like they're going to do some damage this season. They might be a little bit stronger than the original Serbs that we've seen. Now, hopefully they're better than the people from Dublin because they were terrible. But Mirkovic, he's definitely going to be going straight at all the territory because if Jannard is in CBI now, that means all the territory that he promised to Mirkovic, it all goes back to CBI. Plus, they were already on that territory, so it looks like he was getting played the whole time. So he's going to want revenge with everybody. It's one thing to start a war in the streets, but it's another when someone pulls up with a grenade launcher into the hood and starts to fire rounds off into the complex. This is when I realized that Mirkovich isn't going to be playing around. Now, everyone wants that territory. He still wants this territory. This is where they had to stand down at. So Mirkovich is sending out his hitters. He knows that the Flynn's are weak. He's not too sure how big of the CBI organization is. So that's why he's pulling up, but he's pulling up with the big guns because he's not trying to play around and he means business. This is Mirkovich's, hey, I'm not here to be messed with moment. You know what I mean? We should be seeing a lot out of him, but then again, it is Mirkovich. We have seen him get finessed for a whole season. I believe that we're going to start to see a little bit of change with Jannard just since he's back with CBI, what I've been predicting and hoping would happen. Well, now that he's back, we know that he's on a different type of drug now. He's no longer in Helen. 
he's injected. So we don't know if we can really trust him because we know once a junkie, always a junkie. But for Jannard being up under CBI, this could work out. It just depends on his animosity towards Tommy. That's not going to be the only problem that I can see happening out of this. Maybe he gets on a little bit of drugs, but Diamond's going to be looking out for him. He still feels a certain way about Tommy even being around and his brother taking sides. But this is the only way that they're surviving, really, is with Tommy at the ring. Now, will Jannard come through? I believe he will. I'm glad he isn't the one that's about to snitch. I just don't see Jannard helping CBI out anytime soon because he was just creating beefs all through episode five. Claudia put together some plays that may have worked if she would actually thought it out. Well, she found out killing her dad, she still wouldn't be in charge. Then she tried to set up her brother. Now, we know Vic knows about her and he's been telling Tommy he wants her to, you know, go to jail. Now, Tommy's not going to kill her. Tommy's going to do the torture. And then he's going to do the telling and he's going to get her in jail. But we know that Vic is trying to bring everyone down so he can get all immunity. The only thing is Claudia, she doesn't know where she stands. Vic is in charge now because that's the way it works. And she might have a feeling that he knows about her. So she's going to have to keep a distance. But remember, the money is cut off. Claudia doesn't have anything going for her at this moment. And everyone, whoever's left in the Flynn organization, are going to be answering to Vic. So Claudia is in the corner, back against the wall, and Vic is potentially about to bring her down, unless Tommy gets to her first. Now, Tommy and Vic working together, I can see this, but I don't know what Vic is gonna do. Turn in his sister and then flip and help out Tommy? Or is he gonna turn in his sister and try to turn in Tommy also? Vic, Claudia, the Flynn's, this might be the end of y'all. Y'all might not get a season three. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started in the comments. What do you think about the Serbs? Are we going to see a stronger Serbs going into episode six, or are they going to fall by the wayside like they typically do? Because at least Walter Flynn went out with a bang. Let me know what you think about episode six. Who can we trust? Who can't we trust? Is Jadar going to get right? Make sure you tune in tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, for the live after show discussion. For episode five, where we break down each individual character. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. So if you heard anything that made you think, then hit that like button. Turn on your notification bell. Man, I appreciate all of y'all. Thanks for watching. I'm out.